let's continue our playthrough. Professor Weasley? Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. <laughs> I'm so nice in this game. I like it. What is this place? This is the Womb of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble Revelio. upon the room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. Revelio. Chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Okay. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Hmm. That's her transfiguration, huh? Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss this later. Let's move on. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Is that... Goodness! My old school bag! I wondered where that had got to! I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. Don't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Huh, okay. So we Rebellion. got Moonstone. Looks like we got a few... Ooh. Why are you drinking that? You don't know where that's been. Akio.
that's interesting that it does that. Akio. Leviosa. Akio. Done. Ha ha. Revelio. Huh. Ornate black and brown gloves, huh? Revelio. Okay. To you? Hello. Ah, oh, Deke, we've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the room of hidden things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. given yourself quite a canvas to work with. Nice job, me. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. You have unlocked the desk of description. Use it to reveal magical properties of any identified... Okay. I don't have anything for this at the moment. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Okay. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now. I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes, the magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. That sounds pretty sweet.
Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plants and brew potions in class. Okay. So I'm starting to think that maybe I should go... Oh, I didn't unlock that, did I? I need to unlock that. Used to brew potions, herbology. I'm just trying to look at what they're supposed to look like. Okay. Okay. this look like okay well done you can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants presuming of course you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds rugs okay Decorations, artwork. I'm sure I'll start seeing this stuff around, huh? Ooh. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have, and seems to know it's every nook, cranny, and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready, but again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. Okay. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. Okay. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Oh, uh, yes.
might as well, right? All right. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Okay. What? Okay. Hmm. Um. I need more wall decorations, huh?
we move on? Of course. I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. Oh. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Okay. Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the altering spell to customize it. I have some questions about alteration, Professor. Let's see. Yes. Um. Thank you, Professor. I have no more questions. I'll be here if you need anything else. Let me actually look. I didn't look. Alter the style of an item, color of an item, size of an item. Okay. Adjust the color of an item. Style of an item. Change the color of an item. Adjust the size of an item. Okay. Just color. Ready for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready.
Okay. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? A cool moonlit. Ooh. I would like the room to feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Oh, sounds perfect. Ooh. I do like that. Hmm. Quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. My goodness. An even bigger space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spellcrafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. All right. Wow. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do I'm going to do botanical down here. Let's go. So it's possible that doing this next task will Rebellion. Also help me with something. What are you up to now? Uh, nothing. Okay, so that key goes to something. Okay. Revelio. Okay. What's up here? Akio. As a Dalian key, I 
wonder where it might lead me. There's the cabinet. How do I get this key in there? Slap. Do I? So I gotta do it at the right time, huh? Just gotta wait till it's about to cross that middle and just go BAM! Okay. Ah! It. Yeah? An old coin. Perhaps Nelly knows what it means. Hmm. Off on another adventure, are we? Of course we are. We're always adventuring. We love it. We love it. What's up here? Rebellion. Lumos. Where is this? What a beautiful view. What a beautiful view. Take a guess and say what I'm looking for is up here. Lumos. There you are. Hello. Well, we get you back down to where you need to go. No. Oh. Okay. Let's go look at that night sky, huh? See what's up here. Revelio. Of course. Incendio. talent point so what I might want to do is go to the next um, core new spell sets Wigan Weld heals you to greater effect So, wonder if I can talk to her about it.
Professor, what made you want to teach herbology? How lovely of you to ask. I've always had an affinity for greenery, so this situation is a bit of a dream come true. After graduation, I was thrilled to be asked to step in for my old herbology professor. He'd had a slight accident, you see. Oh dear. A shame for him, but it worked out well for you. Hmm. Well, he never cared. I mean, really cared for the plants, and they could sense it. Oh, you'd be surprised how perceptive a plant can be. At any rate, the trouble began one day when he cut into a Wigan tree. Unfortunately for him, its leaves were hiding a bow truckle. You may recall the marvelous creatures that resemble a twig. The little beast gouged the professor's eyes quite fiercely, but terrifying, I'd imagine. Uh, likely for the professor, too. And that's when you took over as the herbology professor? Well, not quite. After three weeks at St. Mungo's, my predecessor regained a tiny bit of his eyesight. He insisted on returning to the greenhouse. Within a week, he had, he claims by accident, kicked a Chinese chomping cabbage, so it was back to St. Mungo's for him. What a string of bad luck. Hmm. Well, I felt awful for him, but I dare say I felt a bit more sympathy for the cabbage. Upon his discharge from the hospital, his indifference to plants had turned to utter disdain. He lost what little patience he had left with a particularly temperamental venomous tentacula, and... Well, his resulting leave of absence continues to this day. I'm glad everything worked out as it did, and that you're the herbology professor now. Very kind of you to say. I do love these gardens, and helping my students grow. Huh. Lovely speaking with you. Have a wonderful day. Oh, and remember... Be kind to your Wigan trees. No kidding. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that's below. Revelio. Okay. Oops, getting caught on stuff. Revelio. Ah. So, where was the bell tower? Okay, so if I keep going, I'll run into it? Do I come this way? Summoner's Court. Rebellion! So I guess the good question is, is, okay, I think this is where I came up before. Huh. This is where I came up before to exit for, um, when I was in the basement. Revelio. going to open. What I really wanted to do is just get a flu powder going. Like a flu powder um, spot over here. You know what I mean? Oh, unlock. Yeah. So it might honestly just be that at some point I'll get access to this place. Huh. At some point, I'll get access to this place. Let me also. Huh. Huh. 
Trevelio. Frog Choir. Okay. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Let's do this. Um, so what we'll do is we'll do down here. We'll do bam, bam. Okay. Then we can do bam. Okay. Wait, where am I going? Revelio. Oh. I just made a big circle. All right. That's interesting that the music area has like a way to get out of it like that. I don't think I've ever gone over here. No, I don't think I have. Rebellion. Thank you. Revelio. Okay, so there is something. What's this? G Glum bumbles are magical flying insects that produce. Treacle. It's consumed. Okay. Okay. Wait. Oh. Revelio. What's over here? Anything cool? Interesting. No? Okay. These dry vines are one spark away from becoming kindling. Incendio! Ringo. Hmm. Revelio. Let's go see. This must be the entrance to the hidden herbology corridor. Revelio. Devil's snare seems to thrive in darkness. Perhaps it doesn't care for light. Rebellion. Uh, 
Lumos. Levioso. Incendio. Incendio. Protego. Lumos. Rebellion. Lumos. Incendio. Lumos. Um. Yes, yes. Lumos. Lumos. Seems the Devil's Snare was protecting a chest of some kind. Incendio. Lumos. Oh, for crying out loud. Revelio. I say if there's anything that's driving me nuts, it's this, it's this gear thing. Solar protection spectacles. Lumos. I imagine a piece of that enormous venomous tentacular would be enough for Duncan to prove his bravery. Incendio. Lumos. Incendio. Levioso. Lumos. Incendio. Lumos. So does that mean with that leaf I can now start making it? Oh. Rebellion.
I finally found an ident unidentified item. Revelio. Better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Found one here. It's just that if he says that, right, then there must be one another one here. I don't know. Have you found anything to uh, prove my bravery? Hello, Duncan. I have the proof you wanted. I That's do. one leaf. Must have been a giant venomous tentacular. It's even more than I expected. I knew you were the one to ask. I appreciate you getting it for me. Of course. I hope this helps you prove yourself. This is sure to put an end to Puff's in dunking for good when I show everyone in the common room tonight. This will show ever how ridiculous that nickname was. Thank you again, and have a good day. I know I will. Thank you for all of your help. No more puff scheme dunking for me. Now let's take a look. Quests. Okay, so... Do I have a focus potion? Maxima and Endurus potions. So focus, Maxima, and Endurus. Do I have any of that? I don't feel like I do. This is... Okay. What does it say about my robe? See, that's just it. It made it look like I got a new robe. Hmm. Rebellion. Lumos. A centaur. It's like a... Oh. What's this all about? Why is that like that? Okay. Wait. Where am I? Oh, hi. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Oh, not someone else trying to pass through. I'd be careful if I were. Don't think it's the delightful sense of guiding me through the unknown. Rebellion. Okay, this is definitely not somewhere that I've been before. Huh, okay, where am I? Ah, 
Aha. So I must have come out here at some point. Okay. Um. So some of my stuff I might just be able to get from. So let's acquire and use a venomous. And use and acquire and use a mandrake. Okay. So let me think about this. So if I. Fire and use one. Um, I suppose now that I think about it. Uh, let's go here. The room of acquirement. I kind of want to see what this item is that I got. You know? Oh, hi. Golden Dragon Eyed Spectacles. Okay. And I need to go to um Ollivanders. Which I'm completing my. Ooh, yeah, I do really want to get one. Wait. Where is this? So there's actually a bunch of Hogsmeade quests, huh? Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Rebellion. goodness. Elegant emerald robe. Ooh. Revelio. In here. Just let me know if there's something in particular you're looking for. Oh, hi. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Beast feeder spellcraft unlocks the ability to conjure a beast feeder. Okay. Beast toy box. A chopping station that produces. Okay. Hopping plant. Okay. Use it to produce a moonstone essential for K. A large pot. So maybe 
Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Yes. Let me go buy my broom. I really, really want my broom. I really want my broom. Revelio. Oh, wait. Or is that inside? That's inside. Okay. Ah, oh, new face. Wonderful. Well, hello. Oh, hi. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned. Thankfully, with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? I am, good Got sir. Got a few rare U-weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows. Wind wisps, too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Okay. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? To sell some stuff. I mean... 39, 49. Okay. Nice doing business with you. 32. 38. 29. All right. So how much is this going to cost? Oh, the fiery temperament. A broom enchanted to celebrate your particular house pride. Finally crafted from ash, this room is built for stability. That item is of the highest quality. Okay. That item is of the highest quality. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Thanks for stopping by. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need okay. is someone to conduct the broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? Why not? That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Okay. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Ah, I can't help but admire Mr. Weeks's enthusiasm. Okay, let's take a look. What else do we got around here? Um, I hover her swarm of butterflies.
Hello. Pardon me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. Talking to myself. I'm Clementine. Willetsy. Charmed. I was musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest. Told horrible stories about it, and I've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since. It's silly, but I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. You couldn't possibly find out, could you? You want me to follow the butterflies? I do, yes, if you wouldn't mind. Very well. If I have time, I shall see where they lead. Oh, how kind. Students these days have so much more courage than I ever did. You can usually find me right around here. I hope to see you soon. Revelio. Don't forget, the butterflies always seem to be on the fringes of the Forbidden Forest. Good luck. Everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. Hello? Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. Oh, I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. Revelio. Mm. Mm. What can I do for you today? So let's see. Focus potion. Thunder brew. Invisibility. Maxima. So a wise decision. Thank you. Okay. So to do a focus potion. An endurance potion. A wise decision. Thank you. Uh, focus. Okay. Because then I can move on to the next spell. That's really what I want. I want to move on to the next spell. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. So how can I get my how can I get on my broom? Rebellion. Thank you. I need the money. Holy moly. Okay. It must be just saying I can't fly while I'm in Hogsmeade. Which makes sense. But if I cross over the threshold... Hogsmeade, here I come. The adventure area of the last fight. L1. Well, 
that's green as all heck. It just it feels so easy, natural. I don't know how to say it. Rebellion. Incendio. Revelio. Expensive fresh water, murky depths are home to mer people and other things. Because if I do, I'm just gonna have to come back here to go get that, right? It's like a place right out of a storybook. It is, isn't it? Oh, gear slots. Sometimes I think you hate me. Oh my goodness. Thirty-two, thirty-six, thirty-two, forty-two. Uh, okay. Light nightwear, huh? Cuffed school robe. Okay. Why does it why does it list this house? Revelio. Stuff? The tilted house. Yeah. Always late that pippin. Pippin should have been here by now. Hmm. Let's see. Madam Luang, I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. Ha! <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have your brew them for him as well? Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. Why do you keep ordering from him if you think the quality to be inferior? It would seem I have more and more customers who are trying to stay out of sight. I'm not one to judge. You can simply imagine the stress I'm under to deliver quality products. Unlike some vendors, I strive to keep my customers satisfied. Here are the potions you All right. requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. Drink it. Seems simple enough. I'll do it. I should think so. Okay. It 
it seems to have worked. Hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Ha! <laughs> Not a chance. That ne'er-do-well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us have to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. What do you have for sale? What are we looking for today? Oh, I don't know. This will do just fine. Thank you. Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. Okay, so what is this? This looks like something that fell out. Like, do I need to go put it back up here? Revelio. Hmm. Inferior must be struck with fire spells to make them vulnerable to other attacks. Okay. Incendio. 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 Revelio. Hmm. Well. Oh. What do we got over here?
49, 33, there are... See ya. Revelio. I go up? I must have. Core. You know, to be fair, I think spell knowledge would actually it would actually really help to do that. For Tego. That's actually pretty nice too. Stupefy. Tego Mastery. Ooh. Oh, right. Darn. Um. Ooh. What do we got? Starting to get a few, huh? I like mine, though. What does it look like? Hmm. It's kind of cool. Kind of an out, uh, old school look, you know? Okay, I gotta see what this looks like. Don't know why I would need Jamie's. 41, 13. Uh, fine. Wow, do I look... Do I look the part? Revelio. I did all that for a dumb top hat. Oh man. It's like a place right out of a story. It is. Are you serious? This top hat crap out of here. Merlin trials won't get the best of me. There we go. All right. Uh, challenge. Uh, exploration. I should investigate. Of course. Um, quest wise. Yep. Uh, attend herbology class during the day. Perfect. Acquire and use a focus potion. A depulso. So maxima endurance focus. Got it. Oof. Sorry, buddy. I mean to hurt you like that. Rebellion.
Confirmed. Revelio. Ambitious cloak, huh? Revelio. Or is that it? I just came down here to get that ambitious cloak. Okay. I like this outfit. This outfit's really cool. I just look like a more um, traditional wizard, right? Okay, so what is that? Endurus, Maxima, and Focus. Too many. You, sir, are Rebellion. not wrong. You, sir, are not wrong. Okay. Um. A lot of adventuring. A lot of adventuring. Okay, I can't say. Anything. It's like right there. Terribly grateful if you could help me and my friend with a time sensitive delivery. Revelio. Enchanted Scarecrow. I wonder who lives here. If it thinks it's got half a chance, <laughs> Unicorn blood will keep you. Hello, might you have time to help with an urgent delivery? Hmm. Maybe. I know what that means. Merlin trial. Revelio. Hmm. What's this all about? Oh. Alright. 
Rebellion. Unidentified outfit item. Interesting. How nice to see you, my young friend. I can always rely on my patrol. Be strong, Alexandra. What's up? Is everything all right? If the Hamlet sent you here to talk to me about... about... I know what I have to do. It's not every day a girl has to put down her own troll. I should be allowed to work up to it. What do you mean, your own troll? I thought that's why you were here. I'm sorry. I suppose if you spend enough time with trolls, you forget your manners. I'm Alexandra. I didn't mean to be short with you. With Ranrock's lot seemingly everywhere, I thought the Hamlet could use a bit more security. But my plan has gone awry. I apologized when he almost trampled half the hamlet yesterday. He just needs more time. But everyone wants him gone. They think it's mad, my training a troll. Impossible, even. It certainly takes a lot of courage to try, I'll give you that. Thank yeah. you. Thank you for saying that. I wish others felt the same. But I suppose I understand why everyone's been so concerned. What made me think I could train him? I should have learned from Barnabas the Barmy. But he's my troll and my problem. I'll be honest. I'm afraid I won't be able to take care of him. He's stronger than any troll I've ever encountered. I wish I knew someone else who could do it. I'm not thrilled at the prospect, but I'll consider it. Oh, no. I didn't mean to suggest that you should do it. In fact, you should avoid the area just southwest of here. At least until I work up the courage to do what needs to be done. Rebellion! Troll on the loose near a hamlet. That could be devastating. It's true. I gotta be honest, I really do like how I look. Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough little place. <laughs> you and those gear slots. I've already filled them up. Ugh. Unidentified back item. Huh. Okay, yes. Um Rebellion. So it's gotta have a clear path to it, right? Like I should I'm I'm should gonna be able to um Let me look up here. Possible I could just roll it down. Can bring up.
Well, might as well listen to this guy's problem. I'd be terribly grateful if you could help me and my friend with a time-sensitive delivery. Well, how about we worry about a time-sensitive delivery next time we play? I think we've done quite a bit today. Now, I did want to see something. Apparently, you can go into this sensitivity audio visualizer on. And then that should help with... Uh, That should help with being able to see where things are. All right. I think that's a good place to stop. Thanks, everybody, for watching more Hogwarts Legacy. Next time, we'll do a little bit more classes, get some more um, missions out of the way. See what it has for us. Enjoy your night. Thanks for joining me.